Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cecilia from Scientist Plans and in this video I'm gonna be showing the planners that I'll be using 2021. I do have a separate video for each of these planners but I want to show the final setup and how exactly I am juggling around two different planners for my life and my work. So here are the two planners that I've been using. One is in fact a Hobonichi A6 that is here on this cover and this is a Hobonichi Wix here also on this leather cover. So I'm going to show each of them separately um, and a little bit of a flip through in this first days of January. So let's start with the Hobonichi original. So this is an A6 size, very compact, super portable. I used last year and as I shared in a couple of videos, I'm using a kind of a bullet journal method to track all the tasks that I have for work. And it's a um, very straightforward method, simple in a sense that there is some decoration you're going to see. I'll, I use some stickers, but not a lot. It's really um, easy flow and an easy way to use it. More focus on how productive I am and how organized I am. So what I want from my planner is really to store my information in a quick, simple way that everything is here and it's not complicated at all. At least in my head, it's not very complicated. Okay, so just to talk about the setup itself, I have this cover, which I think I didn't have in the last video where I show my Hobonichi original or the Hobonichi Tattoo. So this is a cover from Sojourner and here's the little logo of the company. Uh, so this is a leather cover and what is very nice is that you have a lot of different combinations of the leathers that you can use and the type of the pocket. So the pocket here is called a scoop pocket because it has this cut here. And then the stitching is following, in fact, the color of the other size. If you, um, if you choose the other type of pocket they have, which is in a different designer, what they call designer pocket, the stitching is red, so just to um, give you the little difference between both of them. They are both like pretty. This is a special brown and this is Solomon, the, score, uh, the color of this blue. And I asked for a brown um, elastic closure. And this elastic is so soft, in fact, it doesn't bend your planner at all, but if you can see here, this leather is super thin. I'm really like in love with this. Here in the pocket, I only have this washi card as a decoration, you know, just some motivation. We're not going anywhere right now, but I really hope that I can, that we can go back to traveling soon. And I just feel like it really, it really makes it pretty, right? So this is a folio cover and you can use it also for a journal cover really nice, but I'm using for my work planner. There is a pocket in the front and I have just, um, this is just a, a gift card from Indigo. I'm using to cut some washi, although I don't use a lot of washies in this planner, but I was using some to make the tabs. And I have here the sticky tabs that I use them and on the back is the same thing. But in fact, what I have here is this little envelope or pocket. I think it's from, maybe it's not from Hobonichi, I don't know. I received this as a gift from my friend Dale. And I think it's perfect because it's just the right size. And I put them here. And I have this little clip here on the back that I just put the back of the pocket. And then it's secure. And then I have this pen loop. This pen loop is from Leutrum. It's for like the notebook, but because the cover doesn't have a pen loop, I just put it here and like this I can um, put this part of the clip and close it together and then I have. There are some other pen loops that you can think of. There is one that has a big clip from the tra Traveler's Company that you can put in as well. But to be honest, I was very afraid of damaging the leather. I know that a lot of people that use leather covers, they like the marks and the history that the leather tells you. I am not in the stage yet. Maybe I'm gonna get there with this leather. Just like I got there a little bit with this other cover that I'll be going to talk about, but I've been using already for a couple months and now I am like fine with the with the marks that this leather is getting. So I'm going to get there with this one, but for now I didn't want to mark anything. So 
that's why I just put this pocket in the back to secure my pen. The pen is the pen that I've been using. Uh, well, this one is a different barrel, but this is a jet string in 0 0.5, but I am sure I switch to the 0 0.38. And it has the three colors because I do like to use different colors in this planner. So here, as I said, I have the sticky notes from the Coffee Monsters Co. And what I did here, I got some sticky tabs. I think is, is it from Avery? I'm not sure, but I'll check. So it's just a regular sticky tab and it was white. I put the washi tape on top and the only thing I did was that I cut to size and I came with this thing to round the corners in each side. So that's why it looks like super cute. I didn't laminate or anything. I just used like that. So I'm marking my monthly. I think in my previous video, I was showing how I was in the monthly that I tried out stickers. I decided that in fact, what works best for me is to have only pen and that's true. Here in December, because I was using December on my 2020 planner, I tried a different size of dot stickers just to see like a little smaller would fit better. But then again, I'll have to be carrying all of them. I'll have to be buying them. And those little ones, they're a bit more expensive than the other ones that you see on the page. So I said, you know what? I don't want dot stickers on this monthly view. I can use them on maybe on a Hobonichi weeks or on my journal, but in here will be only pen. So it's just black pen. And I'm only marking in the monthly view if I have a seminar or a meeting, something that it has any specific time. And if something else comes up that I want to mark, I will use another color so that it pops up for me because I'm writing everything in black. So here I just have a last minute meeting to discuss a couple of things before I present my seminar. So that's why this is in red. And this is how I'm using it. So it works so far. And then when we go to the days, um, I've been using like I was, oh, I think I have here skipped the monthly. Yeah, so you have this here that I'm not using yet. I'll probably come back here, I will say now, because now is the end of the first week of January and write if there is some information in the pages that I want maybe to, to check later. And I'm gonna show where they are. So, but you can be using these pages as a tracker or you can just write about something that happened on the day, let's say if you're using this planner as a journal. But for work, what I'm doing in these pages is that I write down if there are any notes that I might want to come back and this will, yeah, and that happened this week. So let's come here. So the first was a Friday, it didn't work. And then on Sunday, in fact, I just did like a list of things that I wanted to do next week. I've been doing that a lot on, uh, every Sunday and in this planner is nice because the Sunday has a different colors. All the other days are black and gray. And on Sunday, it's kind of an orange. I think it was red last year or am I, oh, I just don't remember anymore, but I think it's more orangey this year. But anyways, I put like a next week list so that I, if I am like brain dumping or just gather my thoughts and ideas for the next week, I just put them all here. And then when each day comes, I put just a dot sticker because I like to have this dot sticker on top. For now, they don't have any meaning, like the different colors don't mean anything. There is no color coding. But as I go back to the lab, I'll probably go back to my color coding, meaning the day that I'm working from home, the day that I'm working in the lab, days that I have a meeting or important experiments, they all got their different colors. And that is a way to just like stick out what is the priority. Here are my lists, as I was doing before. And in front of every task, I just put a dot. And once the task is completed, I just cross them. I put an asterisk next to this line, which is very nice that it has this little line here so that it will stick out what are my priorities. If there is an event, I put a circle. And once the event is completed or I went attend that meeting or so on, I will just cross. If I have notes, I will put like a triangle with an exclamation point inside probably will be this topic that I'm going to transfer to the, I don't know how this is called, the year, but it's not even a year like at a glance, it's like a calendar, something like this. So it will be this type of information or notes that I'm going to put there because then I know in which day I wrote them. So here that this, this day I had, a, I gave a seminar this week. And then during my seminar, I received a lot of feedback and suggestions. So I just wrote them here. 
and that's why I have this little sticky note in here like this I know that my suggestions are here because I'm I'm still looking at them a lot this week but once I did whatever I need to do with this information this sticky note might go away but then on the 7th then uh, let's go to January I'll probably write here seminar notes or seminar feedback something like this or idea or next because then if I want to go back to the original information I have them here so I feel like using this page to mark uh, which day, use it really as an index of where do you have important notes so that you don't have to be flipping through all the pages is really nice. I mean, now it's just January, I can flip for seven or 10 days, but once the year, all the months pass by, it's really nice to have this place just to help you find your information. And yeah, so this is today, Friday. Um... Here are the tasks that I was doing as I was completing them. I just crossed them off. And I think I just put the other tab here on the next Sunday so that I can write what will be the things that I have to do for the next week. So this is the setup for my Hobonichi original or the Hobonichi Taichu, which is in an A6 size. Very simple. There's not a lot going on. I have my dot stickers here on this pocket that I just did. Oh, and one thing more. That I use, well, this is not here right now on my monthly view, but I use on the other day. I have these sticky notes from, I think they're from Midori. Yeah, they're from Midori. And they are the exact size. I'm going to put one here as a monthly view. So sometimes, like, when my lab meeting was scheduled, I just wrote in here and put in there. And once it was, like, confirmed, I put it out. But let's say you just want to put, like, you know, write a couple of things here, and if things get transferred, you just transfer your sticky note and it's fine. So this is great. I think you can find this on JetPens. This was a gift from my friend Nora, and I really love them. She gave me this one, and she gave me also another one. I think is on my Hobonichi week, so you guys will see. They are super cute, and they write pretty nicely with JetPens and some other pens. So, yeah. So I'm only keeping what I really need for this planner because this is the one that I take from work so I don't really want to have it like super heavy or carrying anything that I don't really need so I just click them there and close and because as I told you I am still very protective of this cover because I just got it so I don't toss this inside my bag I have a pouch and in fact what I'm doing is that this cover goes inside the pouch and this is how I carry it to work I know I need to stop and just use it, let the leather get the marks, but this is not how I work. Maybe I'll, I'll change as days go by, but this is what I carry, and eh, it's really easy to carry on this. All right, so the second planner that I'm using, and I've showed a lot about it, is my favorite planner, the Hobonichi Weeks, and I have it here on this Giglio Apunto Slim cover in this beautiful Epoca Brown. It's a dark chocolate brown. You know the setup, I just added. This is a drawing that my son made. This is me and this is him. And this is a little heart. So here is the monthly. We have here the month of January. Let me show you how the December was. So I've been using it as I was before. In this one, I get a little bit more decorative and creative just because this planner sits at home and it basically collects all the information and things about um, you know, our lives and family stuff, a little bit of work too. I do mark here when I have meetings and shifts and things like that, but this is really where I organize my life. Everything is in here. I like that it's small. It doesn't bother me. I know that this is not a very popular size, especially if you have a big handwriting, you see that you might not have space for everything, but it suits me because as you guys can see, my handwriting is small and I don't know why. I do like to fill up this small Play, like small spaces is something of just seeing it all written up really satisfies me it makes me happy so this is how january is going i don't have a lot of things scheduled just yet because they're just reopening and yeah so that's why it's this way but again i'm using my stickers icons and things are looking fun i'm enjoying to just put a strip of washi on top and on the bottom with the script so this is all from coffee monsters co and I have this Oli clip here just to hold the front page with the month that I am right now. Although, again, I have the little tab here. 
And well, here are the pages. I'll do a flip through later of how the months are going, but the way that I'm using as already uh, showed in other videos, I just write everything. If I have something that I know that it's happening each day, I just put it each day. But if not, I keep a big running to-do list for the entire week. And this has been working really nicely. On the back, I have a lot of notes. If I need a more detailed to-do list for the day, I just put them here on the back. And then I come to the specific day and I say in which page I am. And this is so cool. And I got this idea from Melanie. I'll link her video below. She has a great video showing her 2021 setup. And yeah, and I just write everything. If I have ideas for videos, if I have my spending rules. Oh, I'm going to show you my tracker. I put a couple of trackers on the back. I think I showed you. But I started it in January. I should have started in December, but I didn't pay attention. So far, um, today is what? The 8th. So first seven days of January, I didn't buy anything. I'm happy. But Coffee Monster School is going to reopen tomorrow. So I'm probably going to get some stuff. So I'm going to break my no spending. But um, so far, I'm doing okay. <laughs> And here I have a tracker for decluttering. I did a huge declutter on my closet on the 1st of January. Um, I'm not a big buyer when it comes to clothes and bags and shoes anymore. I think I, I was buying more of this when I was... I think last time I was like good on buying stuff for me. I was doing my PhD and then we moved to another country. Started my postdoc. There was a lot of more work. I had my kid and then after I finished the postdoc I got my job and then... To be honest, I'm only buying stationery and my entire closet was full of clothes that I didn't like and didn't use. So I just made a, two big piles of clothes to donate and clothes that I wanted, that I knew to whom I wanted to give to, like my cousins and some friends. And they are gone. And my capsule wardrobe is now really true, a capsule wardrobe of things that I can use. So everything that is there, I'm using. And I really like to do that. And yeah, so I'm doing other places. I think this is the second video I'm talking about decluttering. It's just because it really made me happy. Okay, so here I have a picture of the kids, a couple of stickers. Here, here are the other sticky notes that I talked about. Also, my friend Nora who gave to me. I just write a couple of things here and I put on the monthly. So let's compare now to the monthly of the weekly because it's a little smaller, right? But it fits really good too. Okay, maybe the yellow is not a good contrast for you guys to see. Okay, this one. So you see, it fits really nicely in the monthly view. So I just do this. I had the same here with a couple of things. I just put on the date. And then once it's, I know it's confirmed or so, I can just write it down. Or I can just take this sticky note and put on a daily. Or if the thing change days, it just change. Yeah. So really nice. Also from Midori. And I think it's from JetPens. So this is what I carry here. I have here a couple stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. I have here the same dot stickers that I had before. And here I have more dot stickers and some washi tapes. And here I have washi cards. So these are the two planners that I'm using in 2021. Well, let me take this out of here. And those are exactly the ones that I finished the year using. And I'm really happy that the system works for me. Um, yeah, so just two planners, huh? My ring planner um, is only now with information. So I'm not showing on this video, but I can make a, another video soon. I'm just not showing because nothing changed. So if you want to check what I'm using on my, on my personal rings, just check my last video on my ring planner um, uh, list. So I have some lists for the videos. You can check it there. And apart from this, the only other thing I have is my journal. So I'm using the Hobonichi Cousin as my journal. It's not a planner. I don't write in here every day. I will come here, let's say, twice a week. Normally, on the weekend, I would just sit down and write a lot. But if I have time, if I'm not going out, or if I'm working from home, then I have time. I will come in and put some entries. But I'm going to make a video only talking about the journal and doing a flip through of my 2020. Because I think I didn't show. But yeah, that's what I'm using to live my life in 2021. So I hope it all goes well. Uh, I, I am... Curious about a pocket rings as a wallet, but I don't have it yet. And I'm, I don't know 
when I'm gonna get one. So just in case there is something new popping out so you know already what it is that I have my eye on. But so far, super happy to continue my Hobonichis, both of them, and the third that I'm gonna talk on another video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know which planners you're using. If you're also using Hobonichi planners, I would love to check uh, different ways to use them. I hope that you have a good holidays in the end of the of the year. <laughs> and a happy 2021, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.